All right, let's learn Vayne. There's a gameplay trailer showing the details of the character. And the character did come out yesterday. No, today. It's April 2nd. It came out today. Um, I'll have some gameplay of, you know, my first time playing tomorrow. Sometime around tomorrow, the next day. Well, no, it should be up tomorrow because I'm going to start practicing with them now after I see the details of them. And, yeah, so expect some gameplay soon. But this character did look interesting. And, make, and I wonder, since they showed him and I forgot the other character's name, Beatrix, Beatrix or something like that. When is she coming out? It must be May. They showed them both. It's probably one after the other. One month and the next month. Anyway, enough talk. Let's see the details of this character. And thank y'all for tuning in. So far, I have used uh, Catalina to be and if i said the name right lucilius or luce I, f I forgot the name you can see it on my uh just check my videos you know who it is it's only been three characters and i want to use every character in the roster eventually so with the new character i'll be trying him and then there's another one i want to try and it'll just be going down the list but anyway let's see here character guide every kingdom needs a hero Vayne is the third DLC character Hold on. to Every kingdom needs a hero. Vayne is the third DLC character to join Rising's lineup. He's a juggernaut I like of a knight, that anti -air. featuring damage and reach as mighty as his heart. Keep thine opponents at bay while thou layest down the smack. Wild Beat Wild Beat is a multi-striking forward assault. It's difficult to punish on block, meaning cancelling from a perilous normal leads to secure pressure. Medium advances farther and features larger damage, but to compensate, startup is slower. Furthermore, in the corner, a counter hit could lead to a wall bounce for an impressive beatdown. Heavy boasts a swift startup. Use it to follow up long range pressure. Or go for a wall bounce in the corner to extend your combos. That's what they're pricing now is to do better with the uh, wall bouncing. Hit leads to a wall bounce I'm good no at it, but I can, do, I can be a lot better. Access immense damage potential from anywhere. It's always room for Go wild, me. young buck. Arm destruction. Arm destruction is a vertical burst of energy. This anti-air lacks invincibility frames, but makes up for it with a generous upward hitbox. Medium has a slower starter, but knocks your adversary further yes, into the air. Yeah, so far in the characters I've used, I think he has one of the best anti-airs. It also features with excellent the characters hit stun when launching foes. Wreaks serious harm with the counter hit while grounded or as part of an anti-air combo. That's good, I like that. I said that in the trailer Heavy too when I saw him. I was like, man, he has a good anti-air. I'm glad they're going in details with it. Follow up from the mid-range to drive that corner combo home. As for ultimate, huzzah! It's invincible on startup, so use it as a reversal or to stuff incoming blows. Wait, Energy hold on. destruction. As for ultimate, huzzah! It's invincible on startup, hmm. so use it as a reversal or to stuff incoming blows. Energy destruction. So you Energy can't. Sorry, one more time. You can't combo off of it. It's invincible on startup, no. so use okay. it as a reversal or to stuff he stands incoming in, uh, blows. Position until the character Energy falls down. Your opponent falls. Energy destruction is a powerful halberd swipe, covering a massive area. Take advantage of its oppressive reach to deal damage outside of your foe's range. Or that is some nice take range. to the air for something cheap. Oh, I like that. It On covers a nice amount of the field, too. Will briefly flit upward, allowing you to foil those anti-air schemes. With that extra bounce, Medium I wonder, can you combo off of it? Launching a powerful downward right there. strike. It More than likely, corner, right? So unleash this technique to hop over projectiles and lay down pressure in one stroke. A hit results in a ground bounce with ample follow-up. Yep, there you go. All right. 
Whether activated mid-air or while grounded, it advances while attacking and presents a valuable poke from afar. Heavy activates with all haste. Check an unaware foe, or if a guarding one attempts to I counter, say, you can check very well with that move. You can check your opponent very nicely. What's he doesn't more, have any projectiles, but he doesn't need them. To be real, he covers a nice amount of the field. -air foes. The aerial version retains jump trajectory, allowing you to attack while leaping into the fray or retreating to the back. Ultimate is a brow-beating blow, which extends to the Wow, corner. yeah, you don't need projectiles with him. It retains advantage when blocked, which makes it perfect for maintaining pressure. The aerial version also retains advantage, which could lead to a destructive surprise. I gotta surprise remember that one face of him about the advantages he gets. Because his regular, one um, his regular R1, he's safe on that too. One for all summons a hearty shield. The shield will nullify a foe strike, so place it to interfere with their assault while planning your own charge. I wonder how long the recharge rate down. is. Placing a shield will safeguard your approach. Defense is the best offense. Medium places the shield farther away. Combine it with a poke from mid-range to damper your like opponent's that. options. Then seize the chance to close the distance and apply pressure. Heavy activates quickly and spawns the it shield at blue in a trail. Range. I wonder what that is. Must be the pair this version hold with on. energy destruction to maintain your spacing and hold down the neutral. Oh, this is probably manifests right here. A shield oh no. With a hitbox. Oh, okay. This stalwart emblem blocks multi-hit and even ultimate projectiles. It lingers for a few moments or a few strikes, whichever comes first. Thwart their missiles. Disrupt their advances or force them to block. It was a blue Whatever one. It must do, be another move the here. I, in a trailer, it showed a blue shield. Breakthrough. I guess not. What? I gotta look at that trailer again, but I'm pretty sure it was blue. Swing with unique properties. While raising his halberd, Vayne can endure attacks uninterrupted. Hmm. Hold the button to keep the halberd raised, powering through any pain. So you still take damage, which I did say that before. No, you'll still which makes take sense. Damage. Greater injury causes breakthrough to inflict more harm in turn. Dang, look how long you can hold that. Hold the line, and when the time is right, crush their offense. Luvenbein Yacht. Invincible on startup. Luvenbein Yacht is a powerful blow, useful as a reversal or combo finisher. Fear no evil. Give no quarter. Wait, 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 go back. Blonde startup. Luvenbein Yacht is a powerful blow. Crush their offense. Luvenbein Yacht. Invincible on startup. Luvenbein Yacht is a powerful blow, useful as a reversal or combo finisher. Mm. Fear no evil. Give no quarter. Ausbrook Schlock. Ausbrook Schlock is Vayne's most potent technique. Invincible on startup. Vayne musters all of his might before unleashing raw fury. A reversal or combo in death. Yeah, I like how this character is set up. Every DLC character's been really good. I haven't tried the other roster yet, but Vayne is a brave the DLC characters have been a lot of fun. With extensive reach and I like that move a lot. To be a one for all. And yet his damage is not to be underestimated, especially when catching foes midair. Now, I would like to know the recharge forward. rate of his Use that superior of all his moves. And show them why Daddy they didn't talk about that, but I was, I gotta pra that's why I'm practicing today, and I'll play tomorrow. I'll record tomorrow, but I'm going to just practice with him today in the lab. All right. Well, that was good. Let me know how you feel about him. I'm about to get in the lab with him a little later today, and then tomorrow I'm going to start playing. But uh, the first thing I want to do is learn his recharge rates. And, yeah, just get used to them, play style-wise. But, yeah, anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments what you think about them. And I'm pretty sure Beatrix or Beatrix, whatever the other character's name was, uh, she must come out in May, right? I mean, it's, it makes sense. They show both characters in one trailer. So, anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll see you later.